YouTubers, good day YouTubers, sorry about that, the error there. Um, welcome back to Brain Bank TV, this is the Roulette Challenge Journal, um, as we have coined it so far. Um, but yeah, we reduced our, our spin count from 3 to 2, and if you've been with us a, a little while, you'd know that um, I did try and tinker around with this uh, by increasing that spin count to almost 30 spins, and we all know what happened with that. Um, the outcome was absolutely appalling and um, it, it kind of struggled to ba to balance itself with the with the addition of that inverse risk reward um, that we have as a strategy but anyways we're going to jump straight into the charts today try and complete those um, charts sorry I don't know why I just said that um, onto the roulette board today um, Sky and Coral we're going to be doing and we're just doing two spins on each uh, 50p chips on each um, equating to 1750 um, a spin which is quite a lot it's a significant lot but um, at the end of the day we kind of know what we're trying to achieve here um, it's the element of that longevity and that prolonged spin count and repetitiveness over a, a daily or so period and then keep that going for an extended period of time and then you'll find that eventually you might get a scenario where the gains now outweigh the losses a lot more and then it will then pay off for whatever we've been going through now so that's the kind of the aim of the game and essentially if we can get to that point then we can get any uh, profits that we make and add that into our ISO account and buy some tangible stocks in the market regarding um, with regards to where the, the market's at at the moment and we're, we're finding some we're starting to see some valued um, some value propositions in, in that space anyway but in any case um, let's get to it get those four spins done and um, hopefully we can go with it quite smoothly today without any issues we're going to be starting off with a sky casino we have 52 63 that's the balance 52 63 sky roulette 52 63 need those two spins hopefully we can get that done no issues um, but uh, um, the idea of what I'm trying to do here, really, to be honest, is to, to kind of show or portray that essence of or the, or the image of, uh, of stress-free, almost. I know it's not quite stress-free, kind of, it's kind of a double-edged double, double -edged sword, this kind of statement that I'm making here, because at the end of the day, gambling shouldn't be stress-free, or realistically isn't stress-free, especially when you're involving money in this thing. Um, okay, but realistically, the idea that you can you can repeat the same thing and get pretty much the same result um, is what I'm trying to preach. Really, is what I'm trying to preach. But I I don't know. We'll, we'll just have to wait. Maybe the results might be able to tell for themselves with time. We might be able to get to a point where the actual result speaks for themselves. So. At the moment, with the multi-account strategy that I tried before, we have two of those accounts um, between two and three. I'm quite, not, I'm not sure at the moment. That did quite well um, based on that. Um, but with regards to the losses on the ones that did lose, obviously it was significant because. Because of the fact that. Um, Sorry, games. Oh, I just completely missed that spin, man. Yeah, that's. My apologies, guys. Got a bit here. just kind of wide. <coughs> right, so you've got quite a few low numbers so far. I've gone with 4 and 14 for the second spin. Hopefully, it's a. I think. I'm hoping it's a high number anyway. Because at the moment, I've kind of. Look at that double 14, I didn't even see that. Yeah, I'm looking at the bottom right hand corner of the screen guys, so I'm just looking at the, uh, the numbers that have um, occurred if you're prior to my spin currently. So we've got 36, um, that would make balance 53, 63. We can close that off. And 
cool. We'll just move on to the next uh, platform here. And this is Coral. Where do we? Where, where do we? Where are we with this? We're on 5307. We'll move that across. Now I did. I did hear someone um, uh, left me a message. Um, or comment saying uh, something about a ghetto, ghetto uh, money making or something like that. But um, to be honest with you, if you if you not if you don't think like me in the in the sense that if you're not kind of thinking of a, a long period of time into the future and being able to to see what those little increments in in um, figures would amount to over a given period of time. Then you wouldn't get to understand the essence of what I'm trying to get to here. It's, it would be very difficult to understand that because you Johnny, can think, up, well, guys? if I just did half of that Hawaii. and split that, then I'll make thirty pounds a day. Then and you're still here trying to make a pound in the next thirty. Like there's so many ways you and can talk about why about what I'm doing might potentially be a waste of time. But then the day. Uh, I just don't agree with a lot of those guys and those comments, so unfortunately. Um, I just see Fred. stuff. Six, uh, in, uh, high even third, third well, I see this Ready. in a slightly Question. different view to that. Um, I do believe that there is some element of um, of uh, system, some systematical money making from this Hanging if you can approach it with, with a patient kind of head Next winning and number with, a, with an outlook see and what number understanding of what. Uh, patience and next. real um, commitment can bring to you if you dedicate time to it. Next number, um, going to be two. Oh, yeah. Two black. Yeah. Anyway, so on that's six me just number low even. Um, first we've done our first spin. We've got two. Betting. All right. The best of luck. Place your chip. Some gentlemen. Oh, don't get to spin that. Got one more spin and we're done to go. Hopefully we can get that done. But um, as I mentioned, so, to be honest with you, the, the, the strategy gonna be works more, right. More I, I've, I've way, tested right, enough right. to think that it does generate enough of uh, enough number, uh, not be, profits but see, actual win rate so to, to warrant the fact that it's, it's something to be looked again, at. But um, fourth, fourth so when when I get when I get um, a situation where you're creating um, opportunities to make money but you're not quite doing it right because of maybe the amount of spin counts too much or this and that what I've then decided to do after the few different um, techniques that we've tried with regards to sorry the, the amendments that we made to the actual strategy I've just realized that less is a lot better, yes. right? I, I just prefer, I prefer to, to spend the board a lot less times, um, and I believe that way the strategy has a bit more of a leg on it, and the, the chance of losing then diminishes slightly. 54.07 we've got here. So, I'm not saying you can't lose, I'm just saying if you... If you thought of how or the approach I'm taking with this, right? I'm saying to you guys, go to a casino of a pound, right? Go to a casino of a pound. That's the lo logic you've got to think of when you kind of picture exactly what I'm trying to get to. If you went to a casino or a bookies or a pound, right? And dropped a pound on a number. There's 36 numbers on the board, right? Including zero, that's 37. So you picked a number, you put a pound on it. My point is, how many times can you physically go into that casino and put that pound on that particular number? Or call it two pounds, because that's kind of what I'm doing in inverse, right? So if you put two pounds on two numbers, how many times do you reckon you can come into that casino and make that 35 pound profit that you would make if, you, if it landed on that number? I'll give, I'll give you a scenario here, right? If you went to do, if you were to do that in a given day and sat in a, in a bookies or a casino and spun that wheel with two numbers selected in a given day, you might win it once, maybe three times. I don't know, but it won't be more than a certain amount of time. And you would have, you would have spun that wheel a good 50, 60 times to account for those three wins, right? But what I'm trying to get at is. If you can do that, and if you if you've said that, went a little bit further with that, and went, do you know what? 
if I was to come in here every single day, so you're not sat there for, for one particular day and done 100 spins or 150 spins, you're saying to yourself, this time I'm going to actually come into the casino every single day and spin that once or twice for that specific day. My reasoning behind this is if I was to do that, I wouldn't make that money. That Those odds would never fall in my favour. I would literally lose all the time because I'm coming in and doing the same thing with really little odds of winning, right? So the chances are I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to lose that money every single time I attempt that up, up until that day that comes where my chance, my luck's just with me that day. There's a little bit of momentum and for some reason I decided to win on that day. But realistically, you won't get that win, right? And that's exactly what would happen if you went into a casino or a bookies with one or two pounds and put it and stuck it on two numbers. You would find it difficult to make money. So, so that's the idea of what I flipped around on its head here. Um, to say, actually, the reason you're not give offering me really good odds. Um, uh, sorry, the reason you're offering me really good odds when I stick a pound or two on a number is because you know I'm probably not going to get it right based on the probability of the outcomes there, right? So I'm not going to get that result because the outcomes, um, the, the probability of getting that result is very slim. But then if I was to say, okay, so how comes they offer me or they don't offer me this much odds on certain um, spin um, that I do. So th that's the idea of what came up to the strategy that I have currently where I'm saying to the bookies, do you know what, I will, give, I will spend my money putting it on 35 numbers because I know you're offering me really little odds for this um, outcome of it, not of me selecting 35 numbers, right? So because of that, the chances of me winning are very high because you've already calculated the probability of me winning when I have 35 numbers selected, right? So the, because of that, they've literally dropped down the risk reward so that I don't make barely anything when I when I use a strategy like this because the outcome of it coming up is very, very high. That is what I'm playing at here. I'm saying, you know what? I don't like losing money. If I could find a strategy where it literally pays me a fraction of what I need to make but the, the probability of that coming through is very high then I'll take that and grow that little fraction bit by bit every single day and that is exactly what I'm trying to do here yeah it's got nothing to do with this strategy this strategy like show me a strategy where you can generate money and the same sort of amount of figure without too much exposure on either end I mean this has exposure in the, um, in the risk appetite side but if you were to treat it in a certain way like I'm doing it here where we're taking the best odds we're saying we don't want to spin it more than once or twice because the more you spin the less that odd get, becomes but if you were to spin it once or twice then you're you're in a position where you could do this where and I don't know how how it would work out how long it could go for and when I first thought about this I thought you know what in reality if I stock a pound in a roulette, right, and I lost a day, the chances I'm going to lose tomorrow doing exactly the same thing. The chances are I'll probably lose the third, fourth, fifth, sixth day, right, doing exactly the same thing, going into a casino and sticking a pound in it. So why would I not think that it would work? Like, what, the, basically, the the, the um, scenario here hasn't changed, right? I'm not doing anything different. I might pick a different number at any given time, but realistically, the odds remain the same. So, when I put it that way and I say, okay, give me what you pay me today, and I bet on 35 numbers, I'd expect that odds to remain the same when I come in tomorrow and bet on exactly the 35 numbers and expecting the same result. And that's exactly what we're working at here. So, I mean, in reality, or not in reality, in um, in the virtual world, or mentally speaking, right? You'd expect to be able to go on a five-month, six-month run where you just literally win and win and win because you're repeating exactly the same thing. And because it won your money on that first day, you'd expect it to win your money on the second day, and the third day, and the fourth day, right? 
but again if you followed me for a while you you know exactly when I've lost spins and they're usually times when I pre-select um, the sequence number that then loses it straight after so essentially the, the strategy works to a T in fact if I had a randomizer um, uh, equipment here or some sort of a, a a machine that spits out random numbers at me and I just threw that into the thing then it probably would work a lot better than it's working right now because then I take that human element out of it completely but anyways um, I've blabbed on enough about this um, I hopefully I can sort of prove what I'm trying to get out on in these videos um, in the long term potentially if if it all works out but we're not going to deviate from the plan this time because I think that skewed our result last time um, that impatience and getting to a point and then losing some money and then you think oh man I just did all this for how long how come was that? I, I'm just going to break down here but the discipline and the, and the determination yeah the discipline and that determination is what would then pave the way for those gains I, I genuinely believe so so but we'll see we'll see how it goes anyways enjoy this nice lovely day out today um and do take care of yourselves guys uh, with everything going on around um, we want to all stay safe so do um, abide by some of those laws going around at the moment but anyways enjoy the rest of your day um do look out for some more episodes videos for me uh and um, yeah take care guys have a good one bye for now